How many of us will continue to give something, give gifts and do things for an ungrateful person? How many? How many? Very ungrateful person. I gave somebody money some time ago. He carried the, the money and did like this. That is how much is it? <laughs> that guy is a permanently ungrateful human being. Just, just look like this. I say, what is the challenge? Any problem? Any problem? Nothing has worked for him. 50 something years. He hasn't found a wife yet. Permanently ungrateful. <laughs> On the other hand, Somebody came to my office in Area 1 in those days. He worked with Shell, according to him then. He said he came to town and was stranded. I should, uh, uh, and I, I should assist him. I gave him a little amount of money. He was somebody in the university in those days. He said to me, he said, I'm so sorry. I am meant to bring money to church, not come and take money from church. No, no, forget this is my money, my own money. He said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. I said, hold on, I'm coming. I went and looked for more money. I went and looked for more money. That is on the spot in his eyes. You know, God made man in his image. If you are not profuse in appreciation, forget your expectations. Appreciation is multiplication. Appreciate God and you will multiply his goodness in your life. That is why we dance all the time when miracle signs and wonders happen. Even headache. Because headache has killed people before. Finally, if you can't see what God has done before, you won't see what God can do again. If you can't see what God has done before, you won't see what he will do again. What he can do. You won't see it. He won't make you see it. So this makes appreciation a very, very critical pathway in our journey of prayer. Appreciate God for his faithfulness of the time past and then you are set. Number